Big Bend National Park located in a remote part of West Texas. Big Bend National Park has become one of the most popular Texas vacation destinations, visited by over 450,000 visitors each year. Traveling here, you are rewarded with outdoor adventures, scenic vistas, diverse wildlife, historic sites, and over 100 miles of the Rio Grande that forms the border between the U.S. and Mexico. We spent two days exploring Big Bend, and here's what we did. You can use the time code below to jump to each specific section and let us know what we missed in the comments. Let's see what Big Bend is all about. We got up a sunrise to beat the crowds here at Big Bend National Park. The park is open 24 hours, but the entrance station and visitor centers have different operating hours. We went during spring break and they opened at 10 a.m. You can save time and money by purchasing a National Park Pass. Once checked in, you can come and go as you please. Our first destination is one of the most popular trails here at the park, the Lost Mine Trails. Parking is limited and the parking lot was already filled up at 7.30 in the morning. We got lucky and got the last spot. The Lost Mine Trail is located in the Chiso Mountain Basin Junction and near the Chiso Mountain Lodge. This was our first hike at Big Bend National Park. The Lost Mine Trail is a 4.8 mile round trip that rises 1110 feet. This trail provides plenty of views of the surrounding mountains and deserts. The average time to complete this trail is about 3 hours, so take plenty of water and snacks. The Lost Mine Trail has gradual elevation gain with a difficulty of moderate. The Lost Mine Trail has beautiful views of the park, and if you're short on time, you can hike one mile in to see some stunning views. Big Bend National Park is a great place to see wildlife in action, especially birds. Over 450 species has been spotted here at the park, with 56 species living right here in Big Bend year round. I would recommend visiting this trail early in the morning or late in the evening since shading is limited. Big Bend National Park is a hiker's paradise with over 150 miles of trails with various elevation. You can see why this is one of the best hikes here at Big Bend National Park. With amazing views and a moderate challenge, if you could only do one hike here at the park, this would be it. You definitely want to bring your camera on this trail with the amazing panoramic views. Lost Mine Trail is high on the reward to effort ratio. This is a must do trail if you visit Big Bend National Park. After enjoying the views, we head back down to head to the next point of interest here at Big Bend National Park. Next, we check out Panther Junction Visitor Center to see all the trail recommendation, get a physical copy of the park map, and purchase some souvenirs. Cell phone reception is spotty throughout Big Bend National Park, but if you need Wi-Fi, this is a great spot. Big Bend National Park is so huge, it has its own gas stations inside the park. This is one of many gas stations located right inside Big Bend. This one is located right next to Panther Junction Visitor Center. We filled up before heading to our next destination, Balance Rock. To get to this trailhead, you have to drive 6.3 miles on gravel road that is named Grapevine Spring. This road is not far from Panther Junction Visitor Center. The road is suitable for standard cars, but having a vehicle with four-wheel drive is ideal. Balanced Rock is an easy to moderate family-friendly hike with a distance of 2.2 miles round trip. Most of the trail is wide, flat, and a sandy wash. It goes uphill once you get closer to Balanced Rock. Most of the hike is fairly easy and would save this hike for the morning or late in the evening since there is no shade. The hardest part about this trail was the drive getting here. If you enjoy photography, then this is a must hike at sunrise or sunset. The whole hike feels like a stroll through a rock garden. Balanced Rock is a short and sweet hike. The final stretch of the hike is challenging and the most fun. The trail steeply climbs some rock cliffs and you might even have to do some scrambling to get over some boulders on the trail. As you hike up, don't forget to look back and enjoy the beautiful views. This was my favorite part of the hike. The highlight on the trail is Balanced Rock, but there are several great photo opportunities before you get there. There was a line to get a photo under Balanced Rock. You get plenty of folks soaking in the moment and taking some Instagram worthy photos. After waiting a few minutes, we took a few pictures under the famous Balanced Rock at Big Bend National Park. Looking past Balanced Rock, you get some great views of the desert landscape. Follow us on Instagram to see all of our favorite pictures that we took here at Big Bend National Park. 
Now we head to our next destination, the Fossil Exhibit. The Fossil Discovery Exhibit is located 8 miles north of Panther Junction or Gap Entrance Road. This area of the park is great for dinosaur lovers. Visitors can experience the changes to Big Ben's plants, animals, and the world they lived in through 130 million years of geological time. Over 90 dinosaur species have been discovered here at Big Bend National Park. From plants, fish, and giant crocodiles, they even have a life-size replica at the picnic area. A short trail also leads to some great views of nearby geologic points of interest. This is also wheelchair accessible. What's great about the fossil discovery exhibit that is not as crowded as other areas of the park. This area also has some great cell phone connection if you needed to make a call. Jumping into day two, and one of the best things to do inside Big Bend National Park, in my personal opinion, is hiking Santa Elena Canyon. This is one of the highlights on our trip, and you'll see why. When you see photos of Big Bend National Park, this is what you will commonly see. This is another popular hike here at the park, and parking was limited. They had overflow parking at the Santa Elena Overlook. This is another short and easy hike that gives the best up-close experience with the Rio Grande. After crossing this small bridge, you do a brief climb up. This short hike is 1.7 miles round trip with 600 feet of elevation gain. I would highly recommend visiting this trail here at Big Bend National Park. Once you get to the top, make sure to look back and see the amazing views of Big Bend. For most of the hike, you walk along the edge of the river. Time to complete the trail is under one hour. You can even cool off in the water. Stay to the end of the video and we'll show you a great swimming spot that's not crowded. The best time to visit this trail is September through May. Hiking through Santa Elena Canyon should be on any Texas bucket list. We spend some time just admiring how massive the canyon walls are. The tallest cliffs reaches around 1500 feet high. You continue hiking along the Rio Grande and the stone walls create a natural border between the US and Mexico. The views are stunning and something you have to see for yourself. It was a challenge capturing how massive all the rocks and walls are. Right before you get to the end, stop here. It's a nice little spot for photos or video. Most folks continue down to the end and skip this area. We also seen some folks canoeing down the canyon. Next time we visit Big Bend, we plan on kayaking here. If you plan to kayak or canoe, a backcountry permit is required for all river trips. After enjoying the views, we head back to the parking lot to visit our next point of interest. Most of the trails are miles apart and wanted to visit as many as we could on our second day here at Big Bend. We travel to Jorgen Sublet Trail. This is a short hike near Santa Elena Canyon. The highlight of this trail is seeing the farmhouses nicknamed Grand Canyon Farms, which operated in the early 1900s. Fun fact, when Big Ben first opened, the folks who leased this property intended to make this a Mexex resort, hoping to attract visitors from the newly built national park. The resort failed and Dorgan sold his property to Big Ben National Park. What you see here is what remains today. Talking about resorts, you know we had to visit the hot springs. More on that later in the video. If you're short on time, then the Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive is one of the best things you could do in the park. The 30 mile scenic drive leads to the Castellone Historic District and Santa Elena Canyon. This is a great way to view the amazing landscape here at Big Bend. Big Bend is huge and on the scenic drive there's multiple stops to get out and enjoy the views. We are working our way to the east side of Big Bend to visit some hidden gems. Our next destination takes us to the nature trail at Rio Grande Village. Once you park your vehicle, you take a short walk through one of the best campgrounds at Big Bend National Park. Leaving the Rio Grande Village campground, you will see the trailhead and this is a short hike that starts over a bridge overlooking a small pond. Have you ever seen so much greenery in the desert before? Here you can see various wildlife from birds, snakes, fish and turtles. This is a great hike for families with it being under one mile in length. The first 100 feet of the trail is wheelchair accessible, but after you cross the boardwalk, you gradually climb up a limestone hill with some amazing panoramic views of the Rio Grande and Chiso Mountains. This trail is perfect to view sunsets. Earlier I said I would share a perfect spot to cool off that's not crowded. You will see why the River Spur Trail is a hidden gem here at Big Bend National Park. 
Not to be overlooked, there's history on the trail. Water is life and if you look down, you will see holes in the ground. These were made by prehistoric man. These were used to ground and process foods such as mesquite beans, grass seeds, and roots. Along the trail, you will see things for sale as well. Folks from the neighboring town of Poquillas, Mexico come here to sell souvenirs on days that the border crossing is closed. It's based on an honor system and if you wanted to purchase some unique handmade items, have your dollars ready. The River Spur Trail is a short hike that is 1.4 miles round trip. We've seen some folks turn back at the desert part of the hike, but right after that it's an oasis in the desert. We spent some time hanging out and cooling off here. We spoke to some other hikers and learned that after 3 p.m. the hot springs parking becomes available as folks start to leave. If you can't make it to the hot spring, then this is a perfect spot for you. What's great about this area that is not crowded. I even looked this trail up online and no one talks about it. It's a great spot for little kids too since the water doesn't get too deep. We looked at the time and decided to see if we can make it to the hot spring. The hot spring trails has two parking lots and don't do what we did and park in the overflow parking area. If you park at the overflow, the hike to the hot springs will be one mile round trip. We didn't know at the time but they also have restrooms near the springs so if you wanted to change. The Hot Springs is a popular destination here at Big Bend National Park. Here at the Hot Springs Historic Trail, you pass through the remains of a post office, resort, pictographs from prehistoric man, and you can't forget about the Hot Springs. After passing the post office, there's a nice swimming spot. This area wasn't too crowded on our visit since everybody wanted to soak in the Hot Spring. Hiking towards the Hot Spring, feel free to take your shoes off as the rest of the trail is sandy. The Hot Spring water is considered old water, fossil water and ancient water is said to have healing properties the water is heated by geothermal process and emerging at 105 degrees after the much needed rest here at the hot springs we jumped in the cold water right next to the spring big bend national park has been an amazing experience and it should be on any texan bucket list have you been to big bend national park before let us know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to Mr. Rest Travel Quest to learn all about Texas state parks and national parks. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of our content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.